is on EA Sports and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Two teams that have combined to win 11 Super Bowl titles. The Steelers and the Niners are underway. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. An early test, two plays in. This is third and two. Caught. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Play action. Now Purdy. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Joey Porter Jr. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy. It's not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. A man who was a prep All-American in nearby Antioch, it's Najee Harris. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, Sam. We got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Robinson, 29 yards. And the Steelers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. A oh, good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. And he finally goes out of bounds. So he couldn't take it the distance, but all the way inside the 15. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. And across the track into the end zone. It's a 49 touchdown. So an extra point away from evening this one up. Jake Moody now for the point after. And now it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. 
And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They'll start the drive with Harris. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Now give them credit for trying, but there was no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then executed. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he powers his way up past the 30. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. He finds Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Here's Harris. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down, Steelers. This is Harris. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they are looking at a second and five situation. They run with Harris. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Rudolph looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Warren. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackled him for just a short game. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. 
Shavarius Ward in on the tackle. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Third down, here's Harris. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. On the give, it's Warren. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. side by Robinson to give him two yards there on the completion third and seven now It's Rudolph. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Boswell's kick is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. Purdy from the gun. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Purdy now to throw. Early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Demonte Casey. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. 
Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Rudolph's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. A big completion there, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Very heady football. That allows them the opportunity to go ahead and line up and kick one right before the half ends. Boswell's kick is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. So a little padding here at the end of the half as the turnover leads to three more points. And this has certainly been an opportunistic bunch here in this first half, and they're playing complimentary football. Defense takes it away, turns it over to the offense. They converted it into points. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. On the return from his end zone Godwin Igwebuke and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And he'll be drawn just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. When they get one against you, as we just saw there, Boy, that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit. It makes them a little bit less confident. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Harris running straight ahead and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. The Steelers send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Up. 
Now run straight ahead with Warren. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football.